Sports Pregame Show. Hello and welcome everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. We're glad to have you with us on 2K Sports. And coming up in just a bit, tip-off will be live from Oakland as the Warriors go up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Looking at the Thunder, they're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. Let's talk about Klay Thompson, uh, one of the best wings in the NBA. Might be the most complete shooting guard in the league. Most complete? What do you think? I would have to say most complete. And, you know, what I really like about his game, especially playing next to Steph Curry, you know, when you play with a guy that has a little bit more, you tend to steal a little bit what they're doing. So, you know, his ball handling is definitely getting better. He can help with the playmaking duties. But what I love about this guy, he can score in a variety of ways. Uh, his defense can be stifling at times, too. I mean, it, no, he's he a great two-way he, player. He's a two-way player. But I, I don't know if I would give him the best two-guard yet. Uh, in the NBA, but he's in the rear view mirror of anybody who considered that, and James Harden Ooh. probably would be the guy Stop over Stop it. He's better than James. Cut it hey, out. Hey, I tell you, he, James Harden carries teams, and Klay Thompson is on a team to that help won carry. a championship? That's help carried. That's all. That is all. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, here's Kevin Harlan. Basketball at Oracle Arena, the home of the Warriors in Oakland, California, live on 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. And so off the tip, it's Oklahoma City. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So for Oklahoma City right now, down low it's the international combo of Ibaka and Adams. Russell Westbrook out there with Andre Robertson. And it's Durant in at the three. Now here's Durant, clock at four. And he throws it down hard with one hand. <laughs> and did you see the screen that was set for him? I mean, that was how he got to the hoop. It was the classic screenplay. It won't show up in the box score, but that screen deserves an assist. Absolutely, Kevin. I mean, that took the defender right out of the play. Special thanks to Kia for that sweet Kia slam cam replay. And so it's the Thunder getting on the board first. And it's Harrison Barnes with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. Warriors on D. Westbrook dishes to Adams, and he gets it to go. You know, and Billy Donovan, the Oklahoma City Thunder, were able to pull him away from the college game last season, signed him to a five-year deal in the middle of last year's playoffs. Now here's Curry, the first shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And, and that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. Screen by Ibaka. Westbrook kicks to Ibaka. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Ibaka's got his first two points. A great assist. Nice work from Russell Westbrook. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Well, Steve Kerr had a few moments to share with me. He knows one of the hardest parts on scoring against this defense has to do with their prolific shot blocker, Serge Ibaka. He told me he's one of those guys who can get in your head a little bit because he's so mobile. You often don't see him coming. And Kevin, you add in his great rebound and ability to hit from mid-range, and he's always an X-factor for them. Back to you. Thanks again, Doris. Now here's Thompson following the shot by Kevin Durant. Curry gets the bucket. 
And I tell you what, anytime you get those easy ones, that basket starts to get bigger. Now here's Westbrook. There's the pick. Screened by Ibaka. Shoots from the block. Westbrook, no good. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted. And really, I, I've enjoyed, I like the movement and communication there. Now here's Durant after the miss from Clay Thompson. Here's Roberson. Outside Westbrook. Let's it go from deep. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. Great opportunity right there. He's got such tremendous length. He can just rise up and get separation for the three. The drive by Green. To the middle. Here's Bogut. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And, you know, looking at Andrew Bogut, he's been one of the game's best centers. I mean, obviously injuries have saddled him a little bit over the years, but he's made it through 67 games each of the past two seasons. Shooting two. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Well, going back to Bogut, when he's healthy, he's a very difficult matchup for any opponent. Great, one of the great rebounders and defenders certainly in this game now. He also, though, gives you points from the blocks and with timely putbacks. You know, he's become an unsung hero in a sense. Not the flashy guy who entered the league, but more of a very talented lunch pail kind of guy who simply wants to do his part. And guys, nice to see Bogut out there given all the injuries that he's had to overcome in his career. Just glad to see him at full strength. Here's Curry. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. He kicks to Barnes. The three. Shot is no good. Great D that time from Durant. You know, Bogut, as I recall, Clark was so distraught by those injuries that at one point he thought he might retire. Yeah, he gave some serious thought to packing it in after the 2013 season, Kevin. Luckily for his team, though, he worked through it and is as strong as ever at the defensive end. It's Curry outside. The pass to Barnes. Screen by Bogut. The drive by Thompson. Goes back up. Good work defensively by Ibaka. The Thunder with the lead. Westbrook wide open. He fires. No good on the three. Curry passes to Bogut. Golden State moving it around. The baseline J. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Thompson. Six points for Steph Curry. Oklahoma City's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's Roberson. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Screen by Ibaka. Here's Durant. And that one off the back of the rim and in. And that was a strong pick. Ammonia strong by Ibaka. Curry against Westbrook. Stephen Curry again. Curry's got eight points. Well, that's simply a great move there, Kevin. He dusted off the defense and got to the cup for the easy basket. And Adams kicks to Durant. Passes to Ibaka. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. That's seven points for Serge Ibaka. Excellent vision by Durant out there. What a nice pass. Out to the wing. Deflects the pass. Robertson dishes to Adams. It's stolen by Curry. Stolen by Ibaka. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant 
And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Thunder. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy balls. You know, another factor in their offense so far has been their ability to convert and score off turnovers. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. And he gets the bucket. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. And there's the foul. It's on Steven Adams. That's foul number two for him. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Spates checked in for Andrew Bogut. And a switch here also for Oklahoma City. Cantor's checked in. And look, rightfully disappointed with how they've played here over the course of this run. Yeah, you know, they haven't looked good at all here lately. Something has to change for him, and we'll see what he's got coming out of the timeout. Here's Curry with the three, and again, it's the Warriors missing. Well, the, the term dream season can be applied to Steve Kerr's first year. He's in and sets a franchise record in wins, and also wins a title for the Warriors in his first year. Still unreal. And for Kerr, so much was made of how much pressure he had to face to get the Warriors to improve. Inheriting that team from Mark Jackson, Greg, that was a good point. He, he passed that test, though, Clark, I think, with flying colors. Well, first time that a rookie head coach has won a title since the NBA's inception. I think that says it all right there. He makes both free throws. It was the season of destiny, and the Warriors certainly followed through. Clark, the best team in the league all year, and they finished the job beating the Cavs in the finals. And they were on a mission from the get-go. They would become another team to win 65 games or more and win the finals. Impressive work. Now here's Curry. Eight points for him. And it's good. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Waiters, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. And for the Warriors, they had tough opponents the whole way. I mean, the Pelicans, Grizzlies, and Rockets, they, they all put up fights. The Cavs in the finals were just as tough with LeBron, but the Warriors found a way to come through. Now, here's Westbrook. Pass to Cannon. Oh, took the contact and tried to throw it down over the top. But instead, he'll shoot free throws. And for the Warriors, it had been nearly 40 years, guys, since the franchise made it to the finals. And they had a lot of pressure on them to win and finish things off. But they got it done and did it in emphatic fashion, winning on the road. The title solidified them as one of the all-time outstanding teams in NBA history. Yeah, and a, and a big year for Ennis Cantor last season. I mean, traded from the Jazz to the Thunder and, and finally saw the minutes that he was hoping for. Catching up on the changes for Golden State, Andre Iguodala. He's checked in for Johnson, and it's Livingston in for Steph Curry. Good on both. 
And Cantor did play well with the increased minutes last season, Clark. Average a double-double after the trade. I think it was a great fit for him in Oklahoma City. He still has work to do, but now that he feels like he's in the right environment, I think we're going to see that great potential of his start to come to fruition. And how about Sean Livingston? Just a terrific comeback story. Of course, he suffered that famous knee injury. One of the worst I've ever seen. And he has willed himself back to become a valuable player in this league. The Warriors shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. He throw good. Livingston. Livingston signed a nice three-year deal with the Warriors. Helped their bench. Great fit for that team. No question. A rare package at 6'7", who's a true point guard and extremely versatile defensively. He can play alongside Steph Curry, handling the ball or off it. And easy to see why the Dubs were happy to get it. Livingston hits both of them. Last year, the Thunder were in a playoff battle all season, Clark. Their road record of 16-24, and 24, a big part of why they didn't sneak into the playoffs. Well, when you're dealing with the kinds of injuries the Thunder had last year, it's impossible to be your best, and grinding out road wins is that much tougher. Here is Livingston. Spates sets a screen. Livingston, that's good. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. And the rejection by Azili. Here's Igudala. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Yeah, good-looking bounce pass to set up that one. The Thunder with the lead. And, and really with the Thunder and, and their road problems last season, both Phoenix and New Orleans had better road records than they did. And had the Thunder been tougher, on the road no doubt they would have made it in boy such outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively a absolutely their ball movement has been outstanding and they're piling up the assists not much defense to speak of yet here guys nope it's been all offense fellas all the time here early and, you know the thunder had road trouble right out of the gate last season guys they only had one road win in their first nine road games they also had four different instances of four or more game road losing streaks last season. Here is Livingston. Shot from 12. That's a miss. He's made one and missed one. That was a good rebound right there, but they haven't been very strong on the glass so far. Clark, a little disparity there in the rebound numbers, but some of that comes down to how the ball bounces. Let's see if it evens out. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. Spates sets a screen. Here's Azili. And that one is hammered home. And, 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 guys, that's one of the more basic plays in anybody's playbook, but not to mention also truly one of the best. And Greg, the pick, frees him up, and Clark, the dunk, caps it off. Well, you know, for me, guys, it's all about positioning and anticipation on those screen plays, and they got it right there. Now, here is Barbosa. After Dion Waiters miss. Pulls up. But they recover it. Igudama got a piece of it. Waiters passes to Augustine. There's a screen by Kanner. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Pretty, pretty passing. Timely recognition as to where the open man was.
Spade sets a screen for Barbosa. Down low. It's deflected. It's taken away by Collison. Here's Waiters. And that one hits back iron. Just doing the job on the back door. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And, and they look strong here in the early going. One forty-three left in the first quarter of the game. Off the pick. Oh, oh, wow. Putting on a show for these people. I cannot believe he pulled that <laughs> one out in the course of an actual game. Are you kidding me? I'll tell you what, Mama always said, if you got it, flaunt it. Let it fly. Let it fly. I said that. Huh? And Andre Iguodala, guys, one of the most unselfish players in the league. I mean, that unselfishness for me, too, is what was put to a test last season as the former All-Star was asked by his coach, Steve Kerr, to come off the bench for the Warriors. And, and you know what? He did it without complaint, putting the team first. And the first one drops. And for Iguodala, some have said he's unselfish part to a fault. Yeah, and you know, a great athlete and ball handler, I think he could be much more aggressive looking to attack off the dribble. He's really unique, though, a player who puts his emphasis on the defensive end and does a really good job at that end of the floor. That one is no good. Well, with the season the Warriors put together, they came out way ahead of everybody else in the West. I mean, given how tough the West was last year, that makes their 67-win season all the more impressive. One of the best in history, in my mind. Here's Barbosa after Ennis Canner's basket. Off the screen, Barbosa's shot is off. You're not pretty. You've just got to shake off a miss like that. And Augustine kicks to Cantor. To the paint, picked off in midair. Iguodala outside. Here's Livingston. The shot's good on the assist by Iguodala. Livingston's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. Warriors took apart the West last season. They went 42 and 10 against the rest of the conference. The games between them and second place in the West were the same as the games between second place and eighth in the West. And, and the Warriors didn't just pick on the little guys. I mean, they had big wins over the top teams in the West against the rest of the playoff teams. The Warriors were a whopping 20 and 5. No good on the free throw. No good at the strike this time. The second misses also. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Oh, 
The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Augustine with it. The dish to Cantor. And the quarter ends with some stifling defense right there. And so both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. The Warriors on top, up by two. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Oracle Arena in Oakland, California. And Kevin Durant always in the gym, always working to improve. We asked him where that inspiration and, and passion originated. comes from me being eight years old and me just saying I want to be the best player. You know, first off, at eight years old, you want to be the best player in your neighborhood, and that's where it comes from. Just always want to be the best, and no matter where I'm playing at. And um, if I keep working each and every year, I've gotten better. You know, if I continue to just keep working, I've seen improvements. Year by year improvements until he became the best player in the league and won an MVP. Now, the challenge, Greg, is to get back to that level after the injuries. Obviously, I think we all feel it is possible for him. And you're absolutely right, Kevin. I mean, he's definitely proven in terms of the talent, the skill, and the athleticism. What we find out now after dealing with the adversity is does he have the heart and drive and that competitive spirit to be considered still among the very best. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Warriors. Really some great drives to the basket here early on for these guys. You know, one other thing that's clear is how well they're burying their jump shots here in the early going. So for Oklahoma City right now, Durant the three and Ibaka the four. Andre Robertson out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Adams and at the pivot spot, handing the middle. Now here's Curry. On the top of the key, and Draymond Green picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. There's the pick. Pass to Durant. Here's Roberson. Offensive rebound. And honestly, not real happy with the shot selection on that one. Yeah, clearly a brain fade there. He's got to be a little smarter in his choice making. And Green gets it to go. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. And Adams with the slam. Rising high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. Nice, nice way there, guys, to finish up that possession. Now, here's Thompson. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Green kicks to Thompson. Five to shoot. He dishes it to Kirk. No good. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. Here's Roberson. Kicks to Westbrook. Screen by Ibaka. Ibaka with a screen on Thompson. Down low and stolen by Barnes. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Green with the block. Outside curve. Green with a screen for Curry. Outside, Green. Inside. From 15 feet away, again, Curry missing. Thunder trailing by three. Westbrook dishes to Durant. He feeds it to Robertson. They set the pick. He kicks it to Westbrook. Lock at six. Fires for three. Up again, and Adams with the slam. 
Eight of the last ten points at that end of the court have been scored on very high percentage shots in the paint. And really, there is no resistance defensively right now. It is just far too easy. Curry kicks to Thompson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists now in this one. The Thunder have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Durant against Thompson. Outside Westbrook. Durant with a screen on Curry. Westbrook passes to Durant. Can't make good off the pick. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Well, the defenders have to make sure they tag him. Screen by Bogut. Dishes it to Green. It's stolen by Adams. Durant against Curry. Double team on Westbrook. From 11 feet away. Again, Durant missing. Warriors leading by four. Yeah, and guys, it, it's easy to forget sometimes just how young Kevin Durant still is. I mean, last season, he became the second youngest player to get to 15,000 points. Here's Roberson following the basket by Draymond Green and stolen by Barnes. And there's the feed to Bogut. It's stolen by Ibaka. Westbrook kicks to Ibaka. Poked away. For Durant getting to 15,000 points, the only player Clark to do it quicker was LeBron James. Yeah, and it's even more impressive when you realize that Durant did spend one year in college, Kevin. You take a year off his age, and he and LeBron got to that point plateau in virtually the same amount of time. Here's Westbrook after the made shot from Clay Thompson. There's a screen. Will it go? And Adams with the slam. And, and guys, that's his game. I mean, battling in the paint and, and cashing in on those second chance opportunities. And Greg cashing in hard. I mean, man, oh man, he puts an <laughs> exclamation point on that dunk. Yes. Guys, that's the only way he knows how to do it. Soft, I don't even think is in his vocabulary. Curry, wide open, and another three for Golden State. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have come from beyond. Here's Roberson. Feeds it to Westbrook. It's hauled in by Bogut. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. The defensive backboard has been controlled. They have not allowed a lot of second chances. It's been about one and done for the most part. And I'm not talking about leaving college. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know you're not. That's um, a bunch of good rebounding taking place there, boy. That's good. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. It's becoming a theme in this game, Clark. They are piling up the points in the paint. And guys, you talk about ascendant stars in the NBA. None brighter than Steph Curry, the leading vote getter for the All-Star game a season ago. But he, what I love, he doesn't let it go to his head. I mean, he remains grounded and focused on winning. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Yes, Kevin. During that last break, I heard Billy Donovan as he addressed his team. He told the guys that he wanted their offense to run through Cantor. Coach is looking for him to take on a lot of responsibility when they've got the ball, to be a leader at the offensive end. I'm sure Coach is hoping those changes turn the tide in this game and shrink the deficit before halftime. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. Westbrook. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. What I like, though, about Stephen Curry also is his demeanor. Clark, he cheers on his teammates, keeps his head up for adversity. He does it all. Yeah, he's pretty much unflappable. He's level-headed, and he puts his teammates first. Uh, 
That's what makes him a championship caliber superstar. Now Durant following the miss by Draymond Green from deep. Ibaka dishes to Westbrook. To the paint. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Cantor. Oh, I love that dish down low. Curry against Westbrook. Green, the screen. And here's Thompson. He has five. Elbow shot. That's short off the rim. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket for far. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. The Thunder have gone five of seven from the free throw line in the game. All right now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. Now well, you look back on the Thunder last season and the theme was injuries. Too many injuries to the bulk of their core. And, you know, the big three, Durant, Westbrook, and Ibaka, all missed significant time. Only Westbrook of those three was able to finish the season. Catching up on the changes for Golden State. Fastest is Ely. He's jacked in for Draymond Green. Iguodala comes in for Harrison Barnes. Leandro Barbosa. He's checked in for Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Curry. And listen, those injuries really did the Thunder in. I mean, at, at no time during the season did they ever really get a chance to gel and play any stretch of games with their entire roster. It's deflected. Now Augustine, he hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Collison kicks to Waiters. Here's Cantor. Warriors with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. And the pass to Iguodala. The shot is off. So the Thunder will take it the other way. You know, every franchise will have a year that is just lost to injuries. I mean, it happens. The hard part of it for the Thunder is that it happened while so many of their stars are in their prime. Now here's Waiters. Baseline try. No good off the of front iron. You love the close shot on that possession. Excellent defense. Active, and he made it a very tough shot for him. Azili kicks to Iguodala. Pass to Livingston. Five to shoot. Ball's not loose. Stolen by Collison. Now here is Augustine. Pass to Waiters. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. Here is Livingston. They lead by seven. Spates sets a screen. Lock at six. Here's Barbosa. Misses off the left iron. You know, he really just tried to do a little too much there. He shouldn't be afraid to kick that one back out. On the wing, Singler. Collison with the screen for Singler. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Hard work on the glass once again, fellas. They put a lot of effort into their rebound. There's a reason why they have three seconds in the lane, and that interior play has made a big difference in this game. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think they need to continue to press that advantage. They've got to get back to that. Don't go away from that. It's been working so well for them. Stay with it. Warriors leading by five.
So it's the Warriors now. It's a five-point game. Now here is Augustine. D right on him. The dish now to Cantor. Collison up top. Back to Cantor. Six to shoot. And the baseline jumper no good. Warriors leading by five. The time for the ball. Out of bounds. Oklahoma City takes possession. Thunder trailing by five. Seven left now here in the second. Augustine, that's good. Couldn't run the inbound play any better than right there. Warriors leading by three. Here is Livingston. Eight points for him. Trying to find Barbosa. He's got it now. There's the pick. Iguodala, that's a two-pointer. Loses the defender with the screen and drills the jumper. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. Now here is Augustine. Pass to Collison. They grab their own miss. Just two to shoot. Here's Waiters. Gets rebounded by Golden State. Azili's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here is Livingston. He dishes it to space. Offensive rebound. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. The Warriors have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. And that one falls for Azeel. And so Azeel nails both of them. And so that's the end of the first half. Warriors lead by seven. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. Andre, what has been the underlying principle of how you and the team have taken the floor tonight? Communication. Communication doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but uh, in order for us to be a good team, everyone has to be on the same page, and we're doing it tonight. Andre, thank you. Kevin, one of those intangibles you always look to. All right, Doris, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. He had 16 points, 4 assists, and 1 steal. 
Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? The three-point shot was their best friend. I agree with the strategy. When it's working, take advantage of it. I don't really like it. Live by the jumper, die by the jumper. But tonight, they're living and they're living good, baby. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Oklahoma City? They need to look into areas where they can gain an advantage. Rebounding is largely a hustle stat. Right now, they're getting out-rebounded. They need to commit to changing that. Those extra opportunities afforded by better rebounding are key for them to win tonight. All right, that is going to wrap up our halftime report as it's just about time for the start of the third quarter. Welcome back, everyone. We're ready to get going again as this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports continues. Players are topped off with Gatorade, hydrated, and ready to get going again as well. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. And really, all of a sudden, he's becoming their best distributor, doing a great job of orchestrating their offense. Greg, typically that's not the role he usually plays, and I'm not sure how comfortable he is in it, but they've needed him to make some plays today, and he's been able to do it to his credit. Warriors leading by seven. The Oracle, or Oracle Arena, was rocking last season. With good reason, the Warriors would finish a league best 39 and two at home last year. And how about that 39 and two record? Put them one off of tying the best record ever in the NBA. That record, by the way, belongs to the Celtics with 40 wins back in 1986. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson. They're in the backcourt. Green at the four with Bogut at the five. And it's Barnes in at the three slot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Here's Green following the basket by Russell Westbrook. And it's blocked by Adams. And here's the fast break. Tarrant leading the way. And that one's good. Roberson's got six. No doubt that is within his range. Well, I would hope so. He's a pro and it was only a one-footer. Come on now. Well, I tell you what. You look at the Warriors and they were actually unstoppable in every way last season. Average home margin of victory was 13 plus points. A lot of those games weren't even that close as they let things get tight in garbage time. And here's Westbrook. Harrison Barnes getting it to go from deep. There's a good screen. Screen by Ibaka. Westbrook passes to Ibaka. Back to Westbrook. Six on the shot clock. Ibaka. This is to Adams. Amon Green with the rebound. Green's got his third rebound tonight. And more on the Warriors' home dominance. Shot almost 50% as a team at home, which led the league. Shot over 41% from beyond the arc as a team. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Well, I tell you what, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. They're not getting the job done. That's a great point. Ten of the last 12 points they've allowed have come at the rim. And guys, you talk about players who have that killer instinct. Russell Westbrook is right at the top of that list. And you think, Greg, about Westbrook's killer instincts. You were alluding to that. It's very apparent at times. Players praise and Clark, I think, fear him for just that characteristic alone. Well, how about this, Kevin? Kobe Bryant said Westbrook has the same love for competition that he has. Whenever other guards are pulled, Westbrook is their worst matchup. Mm. Last season, Draymond Green taking over the starting power forward role in Golden State. Last season, David Lee was injured, remember, in preseason. Green was inserted. 
uh, and he's been terrific ever since. Absolutely superb. A former second round pick, his emergence has fueled this team's rise to greatness. And, and I, I really have always felt Draymond Green was one of those unique players. I mean, he, he kind of a tweener in terms of that small forward, power forward at, at only 6'7". But he's got toughness. The long arms enable him to defend bigger guys. And also the basketball IQ. You can never discount the importance of understanding what you're doing when you're on the floor. Now, here's Westbrook. Seven points in the game. They set the screen. Ibaka against Green. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to four on the bucket from Serge Ibaka. And with Draymond Green, he can defend inside. He can cover on the perimeter. I mean, his versatility at both ends of the floor also a huge asset. And you can't have a higher basketball IQ than he does. It really helps him excel at all facets of the game. So it's the Thunder now. The Warriors making the shot. Outside Durant. Shot on the wing. Again, Oklahoma City. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. It's stolen by Adams. Curry against Westbrook. And Ibaka kicks to Durant. He feeds it to Westbrook. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Adams. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. That's on Andrew Bogut. Kiwi Stephen Adams, one of the toughest players down on the block. And Kevin Adams is not afraid to get under somebody's skin. He's pretty strong defensively, too. This is his first free throw of the game. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season right, numbers now, has him Good in shot. the bottom tier of Good the league. Shot. And we saw it last year, guys, because those numbers were so low. Teams weren't afraid to put him on the line. Um, where points were hard to come by for him. No good on that one. And you know, guys, that's one of the things I like about Adams. I mean, he'll draw the ire of opposing players just because of how he approaches the game. No good on the second free throw. And guys, Adams doesn't want to be known as a dirty player. I mean, I think he feels he plays aggressive and he hustles. And that sometimes rubs players the wrong way. And that one's good, Barnes. Three-pointers are killing them at this point. And they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Yeah, and Greg, you know the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot. Not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out-shoot out this team. And here is Durant. Harrison Barnes getting it to go from deep. Here's Adams, and the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, their passing has been picturesque. A thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. Yeah, and it doesn't hurt to be on fire from beyond. They have been really good from the three-point line. A shot by Curry. No good. Thunder trailing by five. Durant in the corner. Again, Durant missing. He just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. Well, at least as I look at it. Looking to get it going. It's stolen by Curry. Kicks to Barnes. A three ball. No luck. Thunder have gone 6-9 from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Here's Roberson. He has six. Screen by Ibaka. And Roberson kicks to Durant. Shot clock at six. There's the screen. 
from past the arc. Durant with another miss. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Over in the corner, Barnes. Here's the three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. That's 12 points for Barnes. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Rovers in the pass to Adams. Looking at the game Adams has been having, he's got 10 points, and he's come away with two steals as well. He's blown up some plays out there. And it also shows you the importance of intelligence as a defender because he has been a nightmare on the ball. He's had troubles at the line so far in this one, going over for 3. First free throw is good. When you look at the roster of the Thunder from last year, Clark, they knew how to build from within. Well, last season's roster, everybody but one player was either drafted or acquired via trade. That's a rare combo in the NBA. Ansel Adams nails both of them. Warriors leading by six. Outside Curry. Thompson outside for the three. Another three for Golden State. And, and guys, for the Thunder, listen, they're not a big market team. They've had to make sacrifices with money to, to stay competitive. They do a terrific job with the limitations that that small market presents. Maybe that'll ignite them. I mean, impossible not to get pumped up after that. At least I think that would be the case. Well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are, look at them, they are pumped up. Yeah, they're geek. I mean, that's what the Alley Oops guys will do for your team. Well, I tell you what, it's easy to get spoiled watching this fella. I mean, he just makes it look so simple. And, you know, as we've seen, success in the NBA can come in a lot of different packages. I mean, it can't happen without the big free agent signing or spending. It helps to draft a guy like Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, for that matter. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge, Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. And who could forget the tear that Westbrook went on last season? I mean, after the All-Star break, it was just triple-double after triple-double for him. Some changes here for the Warriors. Spates comes in for Andrew Bogut. And it's Iguodala in for Clay Thompson. Then for the Thunder, Ennis Canner comes in for Steven Adams. And it's Waiters in for Roberson. Here's Barnes. 12 points for him. Right side Curry. And Cancer pulls it down. Greg for Westbrook as you were talking about him the triple double stretch included four in a row he had six triple doubles Clark in eight games it was sensational yeah it really was Kevin and what's even more amazing was that he was very close to a triple double even on the nights he didn't get one man he's a guy who showed you what it means to carry a team now here's Iguodala after Dion Waiters miss Westbrook against Curry. It's Westbrook with the drive. Here's Durant. Soft touch off the glass. Durant's got 12 in the game. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. Spades dishes to Curry. He kicks to Spates. Puts it up from 12. Bounces high off the rim and drops. And the Warriors lead by seven. Excellent feed from Steph Curry. Outside Durant. 
Westbrook a screen on Barnes. And Waiters kicks to Cantor. They set the pick. Durant for three. In for his seventh make in 13 tries. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Now here's Green. Ten points for him. To the middle. Puts up a baby hook. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. And Draymond Green, guys, has won at every level. I mean, led Saginaw High School, took two consecutive state championships at Michigan State, two trips to the Final Four, and now making noise with the Warriors. It's clear this guy's a winner. And here's a little note of that, Clark. Only three players have recorded at least two triple-doubles in the NCAA tournament. They are Oscar Robertson, Magic Johnson, and... Draymond Green. That's some elite company for Draymond Green. He's a hard worker, a guy you love if he's on your team. He can be an irritant if he's not with you, but continue to improve and prove his doubters wrong. And, and really, the Warriors had an amazing regular season last year. Just from a historical standpoint, it was one of the best ever. Now here is Augustine. Cantor with it. Six to shoot. Here's the screen. Off the pick. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Augustine. And for the Warriors last year, they would end the season with 67 wins. That number, Clark, tying for the sixth best win total in NBA history. And my guess is only a few people saw it coming. I mean, and as the season wore on, it became more and more apparent that the Warriors were for real, but it took a while for people to accept that fact. And Waiters kicks to Augustine. And Greg, how about DJ Augustine on the roller coaster ride last season, beginning in Detroit, ending up in a very creditable position with the Oklahoma City Thunder? And, and, and a lot of that was because Jennings was, was so inconsistent for Stan Van Gundy last year, even so much so that he started spot starting Augustine. And, and this was just a small part of the turmoil for Detroit last season. And he makes the first. All free throws, good from Augustine. Just solid, really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Iguodala kicks to Green. And again, it's the Warriors missing. So back to DJ Augustine. It's the middle of last year, and he and Jennings are practically splitting time at the point. Then Jennings goes down with an Achilles injury, and it looks like Augustine will take over full-time duty. Nope, the Pistons trade Augustine Oklahoma City for Reggie Jackson. Here is Livingston. He's got eight. Barbosa for three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Cantor's got his third rebound on the night. Waiters passes to Augustine. Collison with the screen for Augustine. Left side, Collison. And Ennis Kanner picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Estes is Ely. He's jacked in for the Warriors. Golden State's gone downtown a lot since halftime. They've missed five of their nine attempts out there. Spates with a screen on Augustine. Here's Livingston. No one near him. That one rolling around and rims out. You know, one thing about the Augustine Jackson trade last year, it didn't help either the Thunder or the Pistons make the playoffs. It's just so hard to integrate a new player into your system that far into the season, especially when that player is a point guard. So a wild ride for Augustine. And so it's Golden State with it after Ennis Cantor's miss. Space. And Mari Spates last season with the best year of his career. I mean, he shot the cover off the ball and did a nice job on the boards as well. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First free throw is good. Outstanding foul shooting in this game. And that confidence can be infectious. They're taking care of business on the charity strike. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Golden State. Oh. 
And both free throws good for Spates. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. 105 left to play here in the third. And stolen by Spates. And now here comes Iguodala leading the break. Livingston, that's good. I like the fact that he led his teammate right to the ideal spot. You don't always throw it to your teammate. You throw it to where he needs to be. Greg, you were just talking about Mo Spates. Clark, uh, he has a great mid-range jump shot. He does, and they actually call him Mo Bucket. But he actually oh, played no. so well last season, they even threw in Mo VP from time mm. to time. Now, here's Cantor. 12 points for him. Oh, yes, the turnaround. Cantor's got 14. I love how he used his height advantage on that shot. And he had the nice, soft touch with it, too. Here is Livingston, headed by Augustine. Barbosa for three, and the shot is good. Barbosa's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. Not sure if it's been by design or simply by accident, but either way, it has been impressive. And Augustine kicks to Cantor. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. The third quarter comes to a close. The Warriors on top, up by seven. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. And the final period of play just about to start. Thunder trailing by seven. So the Thunder five right now. The rugged duel of Ibaka and Adams in the middle. Russell Westbrook out there with Andre Robertson. And it's Durant in at the small four. Here's Iguodala. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Ten points for Iguodala. Just a great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, you know, exploding to the basket like that, Greg, just as soon as that ball was going the other way. That's um, exactly how you want to do it. Here's Roberson. Back Adams. Shot is off. Nice D from Bogut. Now that's terrific defense at the rim. Got right in his path. And you know they'll be conscious of him next time they take it inside, too. I mean, that's what really good defenders do. They make you think about their presence. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Andre Iguodala. Thunder trailing by nine. Outside Westbrook. There's the pick. Ibaka with a screen on Curry. He used that pick just right. And 12 points for Russell Westbrook. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Thompson for the triple. And that one's good. And the Warriors lead by nine. Not shy from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and getting them up. Love the mentality there, I tell you. I know I've never coached, but man, playing to win and being aggressive even with the lead as opposed to being safe and going into prevent offense, I'll take the former all day long. Play to win. Now here's Thompson following the shot by Kevin Durant. And it's Green with the jam. And a few more points tacked on to their lead and in the cruelest way possible. You're right. Yeah, those putback jams sting, don't they? My goodness. Yeah, they really hurt you. I mean, the defense forces a miss and then can't rebound it and finish off the defense. They're hanging their heads in their chest now. Wow, look at how quick he flashes to the rim there for the finish. Thompson dishes to Kerr. There's the feed to Green. Again, the miss by Green. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. And Durant, here we go. The shot is off. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Curry with it. Guarded now by Durant. Thompson passes to Curry. 
Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Curry's got the lead up to 11 now for the Warriors. Wow, that, that was no wet spot he slipped on, folks. He just plain broke him down. Hold on now. That was some kind of move. Somebody, anybody, get an ankle brace for this dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, what a move, huh? Steph Curry does so many things well, Clark, on the floor, but one area he had struggled with was turning the ball over. Yeah, and after a slow start, Kevin, to the year in the turnover department, Curry was able to slowly right the ship. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Well, over the break, I listened in on Billy Donovan's huddle. He got after them and told them to turn up the intensity, saying, we've put ourselves in a corner, and now we've got to fight our way out. Show me what you have. Let's see if we've got what it takes, guys. Thanks a lot, Doris. Here is Durant. Adams outside. Just five on the clock. Puts up a three. That's good. And the Warrior lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Durant. And Curry in his turnovers last year, a lot of it might have been getting used to a new system. But, but you can see he's also tightened up his play to reduce the giveaways. Shoots off the screen. And the Warriors tap on two more. And, and just a little bit ragged defensively there, Clark. Thunder trailing by ten. Westbrook kicks to Roberson. Ibaka vicious to Adams. Feeds it to Durant. Oh, and the jam by Durant! Rising up and hammering it home. That could be just what they need to pick their energy up. Wow, it definitely got the guys on the bench on their feet. I'll say that for a man. Oh, man, was that And fun. no doubt about it, guys. That's one of those plays that will pick up his teammates. A, a lot of times, a play like that is just what you need to get the adrenaline flow for your team. And that was Kia bringing you the close-up on the big-time play. The shot is off. Good D by Thompson. You know, Curry knew turnovers were a problem. <laughs> How about his mom even instituted a fine on him? And so any time he has more than three in a game, he owes his mom $100 per turnover. He had a nice open look right there. And that's 15 points for Barnes. Wow, a fantastic performance from the arc here in the second half. Westbrook kicks to Adams. There's the screen. The tray. The Warriors pull it in. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. And you know what? No rebounds, no rings. And they've controlled the boards. And that's what's given them control of this game. Now here's Barnes. A shot by Thompson. And no one's around. Another three for Golden State. Boy, it doesn't get much better than that. Curry with a really nice screen. Outside Westbrook. Inside Ibaka. Good. A nice assist from Westbrook. 14 points for Serge Ibaka. You know, they'll want to generate more of those shots in tight, guys. Curry kicks to Green. Green with a screen for Barnes. Outside Curry. Let's it go from the wing. And it's Golden State with another one. Thunder trailing by 14. Rovers in the pass to Westbrook. It's rebounded by Golden State. Bogut's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. 
And some of Harrison Barnes' teammates have referred to him as the senator because of the way he carries himself. And, you know, a very level-headed, dignified young man. Okay, and just he, he has an air about it. That's good from Barnes. And Harrison Barnes at times has been criticized in the past for not being more Clark assertive on the court. Well, you know, it's interesting. He had to weather the pressure of expectations since high school. I mean, people were comparing him to Kobe Bryant back then, but HB can't get caught up in that. He's got to be true to himself. You know what I tell guys? Do you. Yeah. Do you. A nice bounce back here for Harrison Barnes, Clark, in year three. Moved into the starting lineup last year and really responded. Yeah, he did. I think he benefited from the new system. He was miscast as an isolation score, but when he can spot up for threes and catch the ball on the move, that's his game. Curry against Westbrook. Green, the screen. Outside Curry. Open shot, Thompson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. I'll tell you what, Harrison Barnes, very athletic. He certainly passes the eye test. And, and with his size, he can punish smaller wings and, and create mismatches. And then also he can play some, some small ball power forward at times as well with the way they like to space the floor. Well, nothing was going down for him in the first half. But since the break, he's been on target. Ennis Canter's checked in for Steven Adams. And you talk about Harrison Barnes overall. He had a nice uptick in his rebounding last year. And that was a goal of his. He wanted to get his activity level up. And oftentimes, the difference between being good and great is just making those small incremental improvements in different facets of the game. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. One of the most dominant players in 2014 was Kevin Durant, of course, winning the league MVP. Then last year, cut short. We know that he's now on a mission to get back to that level, and, and Greg, it's hard. Yeah, you know, it, it all came down to health for Kevin Durant. And, and at this point in his career, I mean, he's got the maturity. He's developed the skill set. Uh, he's just got to stay on the court. And really, when you talk about the game of basketball, the rest will take care of itself. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. Durant with a screen on Curry. Westbrook dishes to Durant. Eight feet away. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. You know, talking about Durant as he looks to recapture the league MVP, he can take a cue from last year's MVP, Stephen Curry. Curry battled through numerous ankle injuries over the years earlier on, only to come out on the other side with his best season ever in 2K15. And getting back to Durant, sometimes adversity brings out the best in you. Adversity challenges you to rise above. And Kevin was already at the highest rung on the ladder. I think his opponent should be very afraid of what they're about to witness this season. And that one's good, Barnes. Boy, guys, they've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. Excellent. Four straight passes leading to scores. Great team play. Now here's Durant. Amon Green with the rebound. Green's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Curry kicks to Thompson. Curry passes to Green. Barnes dishes to Bogut. Thompson for three. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Thompson. Thompson's got four assists in the game. He has really shot the ball extremely well, as you'd expect. Like we say, he's been making sweet string music all day long. Here's Roberson. There's a screen by Cantor. Here's Roberson. The wide open look for Durant. And that's collected by Bogut. Bogut's got his eighth rebound here tonight. It's Thompson off the drive. You know, the league going to more ball movement, more outside shooting, less isolation play. And 
those are all natural fits for the talents of Klay Thompson, who's great moving off the ball, and we know he can stroke it from long range. All right, now, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. When you're hot, you're hot. And that's certainly been the case for Thompson. He's got 17 points, and those four three-pointers he's hit have helped him too. No doubt, Clark. They'd be in a much different position this game if he wasn't knocking down those triples. And so Thompson nails both of them. Thunder trailing by 20. Outside Westbrook. Cantor sets the pick for Westbrook to the inside. Rebounded by Bogut. Bogut's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Well, Greg, for Thompson, a hard-working defender. You were talking about it. Yeah. Do you think Clark, his offensive style, frees him up to put more energy into defense? Well, you know, it could be. I mean, he's extremely smooth. He's uber smooth <laughs> in how he operates. Um, he doesn't have to drive the lane and absorb a lot of contact to get his shot off. And he's quick and efficient with his offense. So that does leave him more energy for the defensive end. Wow, has he flipped a switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Yeah, maybe a change of the game plan right now, looking at some different sets because of the matchups. Yeah, I agree with you because they're looking to tweak things to maybe get those matchups working in their favor. And so it's Golden State with it. 22 is their biggest lead. To the paint. Here's Bogut. No good. Some solid defense from Ibaka. Thunder trailing by 19. And Roberson kicks to Cancer. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Good ball movement. He put that pass in the ideal spot. Right where it needed to be. Westbrook against Curry. And Bogut slams it in. Fellas, that two-hand monster slam was vicious. <laughs> I don't think there was anyone, and I mean anyone, that could have stopped him on that one. I tell you what, I'm glad they didn't try because somebody might have got their feelings hurt. And, and really, last season, the Thunder came into the year as a popular pick to win the West. Of course, we know what happened in terms of injuries, and, and they ended up having them on the outside looking in in terms of the postseason. Thunder trailing by 19. For the Thunder, their play against the rest of the West wasn't a huge problem as to why they missed the playoffs and 
Well, you know, they went 25 and 27 against the rest of the West. Well, at first glance, that doesn't look too bad, but only seven wins in those 29 games against the Western Conference playoff teams. With the talent the Thunder have, you still think of them as favorites in the West, at least one of the favorites in the West. Thompson misses. You know what? You just cannot get much better of a look than that one. Exactly. I mean, no way you expect him to miss that shot. Now, here's Westbrook. 14 feet away. That's good. Westbrook's got 19 points. And how does he get that one to go? No idea. <laughs> I don't have an idea either. A little heat check there, but, yep, he's still cooking, and, Greg, he's cooking with gas. Here's Thompson. There's the pick. And here is Barnes. Five on the clock. And Andrew Bogut, the bucket on the assist by Curry. Eight points for Andrew Bogut. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Warriors. Clark, look at their number of assists. Well, they minimized the one-on-one -on -one situations, Kevin. They got the ball moving, and it found the open guy. Great ball movement. You're right. And as usual, great numbers and a dominant display for Curry. He just looked like an orchestrator out there. His teammates kept running to the open spot, and he found them time and time again. Now Thompson. After Westbrook's missed three, Thompson with it, guarded now by Durant. Bogut kicks to Barnes. Fires it up. And the rejection by Ibaka. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And the Warriors with a completely new five on the floor. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Nick Collison's checked in for Ibaka. Kyle Singler comes in for Kevin Durant. Dion Waiters checked in for Roberson. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Here's Oklahoma City now, trailing by 19. There's a screen by Cantor. Collison dishes to Waiters. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Okay, gentlemen, two shots, two shots. Free throw, good waiters. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. Sure can, because they've earned the win. Here is Livingston. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. Yeah, they were clicking in every way. I mean, all cylinders go. No question about that. And once they pulled away, they didn't let up. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Kevin, I'm here with Andre Iguodala. And Andre, what was the secret to seeing such a great output offensively? Well, we know our defense is our catalyst to everything for our team. So as long as we play defense, get stops, Rebounding was most important tonight. You know, they're one of the best rebounding teams in the league. Uh, we got, we were able to do that and get out on the break. Andre, thank you so much. Kevin, no surprise, one of the best defenders, always thinking about things on that end. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Many thanks, Kevin. So now we move on to our Jordan player of the game, Stephen Curry. He was a powerful offensive weapon tonight, scoring a double-double with points and assists, and that was the catalyst for this victory. He flat-out dominated. I mean, you see the kind of plays he was making all over the court. 
This is a game, no matter who they put on him, he wasn't going to be denied. His offensive power was in full effect. I don't know if there's a fan base that loves their star more than this crowd. Wow. I'm getting jealous. And he feeds off that support. Once they got behind him, he became unstoppable, man. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon.